In this video, we will show you how to use the Auto Border tool. In general, the Auto Border tool creates a new object based on the outline of a selection. The Auto Border tool becomes available on the top toolbar once you have selected something. Select the portion of the design that you like and press the icon. When you start the auto border, a dialog appears which gives you the ability to adjust it. First, you need to select the placement of the auto border, that is, whether you like it to be on the outside or the inside of the selected shape. The next thing you need to define is the distance. If the distance is zero, then the new object will be placed exactly on top of the initial one. You can also define the number of repeats. Finally, you need to select the stitch type of the auto border. You can select satin serial or running. For satin serial, you can also define the width of the satin. Now, if you press OK, Auto Border will be created around the collective shape you have selected. As you can see now, for this kind of selection, where there is a hole in it, the result is not ideal. So, for cases like that, you need to use the Remove Holes option. Now, let's explore this option along with a practical example. This time the inside parts are removed. This is all about the auto border tool, so we will show you how you can easily decorate all these lines with styles and create a unique effect. Notice that if you have other techniques enabled as well, that is, other than embroidery, other types of border are available as well. For example, if you have the paint technique enabled, you can use paint zigzag or paint lines. If you have the cut technique on, you can also add a cut line. And if you have chosen the stencil technique, you can create a stencil auto border.